Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 1043. Hey, if you want to download this workbook 1043 to 1046, click on the link below the video. Hey, in this video, we want to see how to take a column with numbers, including empty cells and text, and count unique numbers. Now, we've done a couple videos recently on this. Back in uh, 1040, we had a formula. Back in 1042, we had a formula, and Leonid left a great comment about um, some cool formulas back in 1040. So we want to look at these. In these videos, we did not look at mixed data, but the formulas we used earlier will work. We also want to time the different formulas and see if there's any difference. Now, the essence of any unique count or extracting unique list formula usually uses the frequency function. And the trick, as we've talked about in the last few videos, is that the data array, comma, and the bins. Now, the bins are usually the categories that you count the data within, but if you give the data and the bins the exact same range, and I can see this should be 15. That's the trick for unique counts. What it's going to do is bins, there's duplicates. We give it a 3 and a 3. Well, frequency does a bunch of cool things. One is it ignores empty cells. It ignores texts. And if you give it duplicate bins like that 3 right there, it won't count anything there. It will only count how many threes there are in the first bin. That's why when we highlight this and hit F9, F9, we can see there's a count of two for this three. But when it gets down to the fifth position, this three, what is there? A zero. Similarly, for four, there's a three because there's three fours. The next one gets a zero. And then I think it's this one down here gets a zero. So that's the trick. Now we have a pattern of numbers that are not zeros that indicates that, that we have encountered the number for the first time, Control-Z. So what can we do? Well, first off, F9, that pattern, the if function can interpret the zeros as false and the non-zero numbers as true. So we can simply say if, that logical test. Now, normally, if you put an array operation into the logical test argument, the formula will require Control-Shift-Enter. But the cool thing about array functions is you can put them, house them. Even though they're doing an array operation, you can house them in outside functions, and it will not require Control-Shift-Enter. So we got a bunch of trues and falses, comma. What do we want? One. The if will give us a string of falses. F9 and 1s. Now we can simply wrap that in the sum function. Now what Leonid uh, pointed out was that this formula does not require Control-Shift-Enter. So watch this. I'm going to Control-Enter. No curly brackets for array operation. And that comes from the fact that that's uh, uh, an array function. Now, Leonid also pointed out, hey, why use the if and the 1 when you can use the sign function? The sign will interpret any of those zeros as a 0 and any positive number as 1. So look at this one. I F9 it. It gives us, instead of falses and 1s, zeros and 1s. Control-Z. And we can simply put that in the sum. And it doesn't require Control-Shift-Enter like mo many array formulas do, just Control-Enter. Now, in the book I wrote, Control-Shift-Enter Mastery and Excel Array Formulas, this is the formula I showed for uh, counting unique numbers. And it's a common one. I've seen, seen this one around. Now, we're going to time these in a second. And I would think that this formula would take a lot longer than these, because it's doing an array operation here. That's one array operation. Then it's got a comparative operator to convert those uh, numbers to trues and falses. And then it, got, it has to convert the trues and falses to ones and zeros with a double negative. So there's one, two, three array operations. Here, I only count. 1, and then the sign is 2. Up here, we have 1, and then the if is a second one. Now, here's the amazing thing. This formula right here, there's three array operations. And that's a comparative operator, and that's a math operation. Watch this. With the frequency function, you don't have to put it inside of some product. Now, what is going on here? And I went back. I'm just going to Control Enter. I don't see any curly brackets, and it sure looks like it's working. Not only that, I'm thinking, well, maybe it's, it's doing something with implicit intersection. Come down here. It's working. I went back and tried this formula 
whoops um, this one I didn't I'm gonna put this over here just so it's consistent I, I again I went back and tried this and I was just stunned it worked in XL 2003 10 13 what is going on here this array function is uh, doing something special now here's the deal you know I wrote the book control shift enter and part of the reason I did it is I, I just there's no good source for what all the rules about array formula so you know I, I guess this is because it's an array function but nevertheless I tried it a bunch of places and it's working uh, all of these working without control shift enter you guys try them post some comments now let's go look at the timing results and so this is a hundred thousand rows and I did the all four of them now actually this one right, right here and I talk about this in the book you can use one divided by count f and there's a bunch of variations on this if you have a small data set but man if you have a big data set it blows up your data set I tried to time this and I left this formula right here I left it on for five minutes and it wouldn't calculate so it takes too long all of these though had very similar times so uh, surprising even these two down here which have three array operations and these up here which I count two array operations all getting similar times alright so I know that's pretty nice there this sign ones totally cool um, in our next video 1044 we'll do an extract unique list with given that we have mixed data 1040 if you don't have mixed data, the formula in Excel Magic Trick 1040 is much easier and you should use that. But in our next video, 1044, we'll see what to do when we want to extract unique numbers and sort them. All right, see you next trick.